Oh my god, that was a long walk. Uh, I, uh, I'm so glad I found this road. That pig or chicken took my brochure. And uh, it has a map. And uh, I'm just glad I found the road. And whoa. That's an actually pretty cool archway. I think I see it. Oh, that's Camp Arc Can. Oh, God! Bloody. Ah! There was a bus the entire time? I could have rode a bloody, bloody bus. Uh, uh, are you okay? Uh, I heard you're screaming. Uh, I'm okay. I'm just mad. There was a bus. I, I could have rode a bus here. Ah, yes. Ha, see, I came but to no, the same I conclusion. Walked. I walked for miles. And my legs are killing me right now. Mm -hmm. I, I, I did the same thing and then realized there was a bus, but there's no bus driver here. It's kind of just a placeholder. If there's no bus, if there's no bus driver, why is there a bus? Placeholder. Just something that looks nice, I guess. Okay, I'm going to have to talk to the people about this to see if they can get a bus driver. Yeah, well, I don't think the camp counselors here have arrived yet. Wait, you mean to tell me the camp counselors who, you know, work here have arrived, are not here yet, right? Yep, that's exactly what I'm telling you. So, the, so like, two campers are already here before the camp counselor. Okay, that's, that's just, that's just... Um, well, technically four. I met two yesterday. Oh. Who were they? Uh, Zay and, um... Did one of them breathe fire? Did one of them breathe fire? Uh, not that I saw. Dang it! I'm trying to figure out if fire breathing is considered magic or a superpower. I think that's a superpower more than anything. I guess you're right. But then there's fire magic and breathing fire can mm -hmm. be like part of fire magic. It's like, uh, never mind, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, um, but there was a, a wind kitty. I think their name was Zay. And then there was a, an emo or Hot, Hot, uh, Hotara. A wind kitty? Mm hmm. I'm. I'm, I'm confused here. I think, I think, Are you uh, saying it's like an actual cat with wind powers? Oh, no, no, like, no, no, no. Uh, cat person. Cat person. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. Mm -hmm. Though I wouldn't be surprised if there's a cat with superpowers. Or I mean, magic powers, if you want to be more technical. My dog has powers. What kind? Uh, well, he, for one, he can talk, uh, and for two, he has, a uh, you know, telekinesis. I guess that's convenient. Hmm. Though you, I guess you have to keep away, like, chocolate and stuff, right? Yeah, he's still a dog. Even though he has magic, at the end of the day, he's a dog. He's definitely a dog. And that's why he's out in the forest doing something. Is he hunting for squirrels? I hope not. Considering I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of the earth and, and the animals on it. So I hope he's not hurting. Sweet. I like earth too. The earth's because, nice. You know, it's where we live. Mm -hmm. uh, if the earth is gone, we'd be dead, right? Yeah. Yes, we would. Or, well, would it be surprised specifically because we have magic? I don't think so, because we still need to breathe oxygen. Well, see, that's the thing. Uh, I'm what you would call a golem or, or an earth mage, however you want to say it. Um, I could just make a new rock that we could live on. Uh, I think, for, for one thing, that would take too much magical power because, you know, having to actually remake earth get all the stuff that is used to useful to live on like oxygen and water and stuff and two would you be considered a golem or a homunculus 
or would, or would, would that connection or would that distinction really matter at the end of the day? Um, I don't think the distinction matters. I guess you're right, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to look it up later. Look it up. See, okay, I've been getting used to this um, internet thing. We didn't exactly have internet where I'm from. It's all just it's just books and research and stuff. So. Uh, that's understandable. I mainly use books because for a while books can't be changed unless you grab them. But the internet, especially with stuff like, I, don't, I think, Wikipedia, you could like change information on that, like at a drop of a hat. Mm hmm. I agree with that because personally, I think it's, um, it's a principle of the matter. That's true. That's true. Oh, wait. I never introduced myself. Dang it. Okay. My name is Alistair Smith. And you would be? Violet. Alistair. That sounds familiar. I feel like Violet's familiar too. But again, Violet is also a color. <laughs> and I think it's also a flower. So it yep. could be anything really. Hmm. Wait, now I remember. You do? You're the uh, you're one of the people I met on uh, uh, Twitter, I think. Oh, the bird app. Yeah, I don't really use social media often. Yes, Alistair, you were the only person who was nice and, well, positive. That's, uh, it's what I do, really. But. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment, Violet. Yeah. Well, it's nice to meet you in person, Alistair. Ditto that. Uh, question. Hmm? Uh, have you explored this place at all? I, yeah, just went exploring um, this morning, actually. Cool. Can you show me around? Because I have a habit of getting lost. <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course. You want to follow me? Oh, yeah, sure. So, over here, there's a basketball court, actually. Something for sports. Oh, yeah. Uh, up here is a little campfire area and a karaoke station. I don't know why, but the world's kind of... It. I don't know why. It said no. I don't know. I think it might be something to do with my magic, really. Oh. Um, up there is, I think that one's the, um, the mess hall or the cafeteria, whatever you want to call it. It's either the mess hall or the hangout area. Both the buildings look the same. Ah, hangout. Okay, so that's like the common area, and then... Mm -hmm. Then the mess hall is the one that's over there. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, down here are some cabins. There are cabins in, over there, but there are also cabins over there. Oh, that's actually... Oh, that's neat. Are they, like, separating us into groups? Yeah, I, I noticed that. Um, On some of the cabins, they have names. So I think one was, like, um, Helpful Hair. So I think they'll be separating us. I think you, which there are two, two or three, I think, um, camp counselors. And so I think one lives over there and one lives over there. Ah, so, can you show me where you live? Oh yeah, I live over here. Um, or well, I guess where I'm bunking until the time being of when I, when we can leave. I guess that makes sense. Is that a cat? That just, what? I thought I heard a cat. Wait, no, we heard a cat. This is my bunk. Hey, I have a, oh, there's the one? Mm-hmm. Neat. Two. Do you feel anything strange? Strange? Well, it's just, I feel... Huh. 
Huh. Oh yeah, the crystal. For one thing, there's a cat, and two, there's. I feel like a strange sense magical energy rating from this cabin. I don't know what it is either. I kind of felt the same. It's why I wanted to get near it. I guess it makes sense. I, and I think the only reason why I felt it like almost immediately is because of my magic. What is your magic? It's, uh, it's a strange one. It's not connected to any of the like four basic elements. It is called a uh, incantation. Incantation. What does that mean? Basically, by speaking certain words, I can make stuff happen. So, you're a magician. For the lack of a better phrase, yeah. But it's much more broader than that. A again, my magic, the only limit to my magic is what words I can say and basically my imagination and i think the reason why like for me the world quote unquote lags is because again my magic is connected to i guess uh the actual like magic source chaos i guess you have a lot to learn about your magic huh <laughs> oh oh that is so true were the you... longest time I could only do like basic spells. Were you, did were you always aware you had magic? No, not really. It wasn't until I was around like eleven or twelve. Oh, one of the new magic users. Yeah, for uh, long before that, stuff just happened. See, I feel like humans always assume that things just happen out of nowhere. Oh, what a coincidence! Oh, to, when you're a kid, that's kind of expected, really. Really? I... Yeah, you can't... As a kid, you don't really know what, what's happening. Especially when, you know, magic isn't very common. Hmm. I guess... Well, magic is common where I come from. I mean, I went to a school with other magic users. I have a best friend who's a water mage. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But again, it's it's just human nature, really. Yeah. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go into this cabin. I'll I'll check out I'll check out the rest later, and I'll I'll see you later. Yeah. Uh, have fun with that. I don't know what's in it. Have a good rest of the day, Violet. You too, Alistair.